Hey, if you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I'm hiking my way around Scotland's coast with my sketchbook and cameras. Currently, I'm on the Moray Coast Trail, which covers about 50 miles of rocky coast on Scotland's northeast edge, and it's home to some of the most spectacular geological features. Subscribe to follow along the highs Woo! and lows of my journey. All right, we're back in Berghead. It's a really pretty little harbor. This morning it's only 14 degrees Celsius. Today we are walking to Findhorn. The last time I was in Findhorn, there was basically a gale. So it was like 70 mile per hour winds or something insane, but today it's not supposed to be like that. So I hope I, hope I get to enjoy it. <laughs> today we're being smart because it's an eight mile journey. So. I've got these electrolyte tabs that I need to break to fit into here. <gasps> Today, we're being smart. <laughs> wow, this is going to be a good day. I'm covered in water. Of course, the back of my backpack is now wet. I usually don't like buying water bottles, but a lot of people in the comments said that having just a super cheap plastic water bottle as a backup in your bag can be like a lifesaver down the road. So, you know, like worst case scenario, if my water bladder broke, I would be SOL. So having something like this, even if it's like crumpled up in my bag, uh, just the chance to fill it at some point might save me. <sighs> now let's attach this chest bag. This chest bag has been such a game changer for me. One of the best purchases I've made. It just allow it allows me to access my phone, my zoom camera, everything without taking off my bag. Even a quick snack. They're handmade here in the UK and the person who makes them also does like dry bags for camping and I bought a few of those for later. I just hook it in. You're good to go. So let's go. This is Berghead Beach and the tide is out. So for a while, I'm able to walk on the nice, wet, compact sand. Plus I reckon if I stick kind of close to the shore, that will cut off like a mile or two. This is eight miles of beach with the forest on the left. Today I am using my ultra lightweight backpack and I prioritized packing ultra lightweight. So I have my lightest sketchbook and sketch kit. I also prioritized food and water. So my plan is to walk the first three of the eight miles while I have all this energy, while it's nice and cool. Look, it's just beach for as far as you can see. <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> There's a river in my way. Or maybe I can get through there. <sighs> when I was younger, I used to love walking in the water. I just don't do it as often anymore. It's like I go to the beach with a purpose of painting, or sketching, just hanging out. And I miss just relaxing in the water or let the waves wash over my feet. It gets insanely cold in the winter. So I definitely don't do that in the winter. So I might as well take advantage of it now. The water is very cold, like just on the verge of making you a little bit numb. But after a few minutes, you get used to it.
Google Maps thinks I'm in the ocean or I'm in the water because the tide is out. <laughs> Well, I'm in it. I'm in it now. I'm up past my knees and there's rocks in my way to get back to the shore. And I keep thinking, oh, just around this little corner, I'll be able to get through. And no, I can't. So I'm only going out farther. So I literally have to turn back. <laughs> uh. Did I mention that I'm really scared of being in the ocean? Like, like right now I'm on the verge of panic and I'm only in my, up to my knees. I have a very illogical fear of being in deep water. If I can see the bottom, I'm kind of okay. And I'm a really strong swimmer, but if I'm in water where I can't see the bottom or I will literally lose my mind, just panic takes over. I don't know what it is. I made it back to the sand, panic over. <laughs> I know I sound so silly, like, uh, but I was, I was in up a few inches above my knees and I was like, um, no, 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 no. like a rock almost but I don't know maybe they are rocks that just got covered and stuff after a while What an absolutely perfect day for walking on the beach. The water feels so good. Now that I'm acclimated to the temperature, I've walked about two miles and usually by now my feet are throbbing and in the water, it, it just cools them off and it, they feel amazing. <laughs> so I feel amazing. Woo! But I'm getting really hungry, so there is a car park about half a mile down. At that point, I might need to put my shoes on because if I walk too far with, with no support under my feet, uh, that probably won't be good for them in the long term because I'm not a barefoot walker. And right there is the entrance to the forest where the car park is, and there's also toilets. So I just need to find my way across to this. Put my shoes on before I got to the dry sand so I wouldn't be completely covered. So just let them air out of it. <laughs> Some more hickory almonds. The one day I definitely should have brought spare socks and I didn't. Oh 
Oh my God. There's a beach bar. There's a food bar thing. Oh my God, that's amazing. The restroom's there. Look at the little bar. I was tempted by the food truck, by the little bar, but it's all like burgers and chips and fried stuff. And I know that would just upset my stomach. So, and they had coffees and stuff too, but that will just kind of dehydrate me. So I brought a sandwich and snacks, plenty of water. I'm just going to go. <laughs> it's so, so much nicer on the beach. There's a breeze. It's not that it's hot today, but in here there's like no breeze. <laughs> but I am gonna come back and explore this forest at some point, like at least five miles to go. So time to get back on it. Let's see what it looks like up here. Ooh, the sun is out. Ooh, that looks magical right now. I wonder if there's a trail along the top of the dunes. I am really inspired to paint, but I also just love this feeling of walking on this beautiful expanse of beach without stopping constantly. Like it just feels so good to get that energy out <laughs> and to just soak up the beauty. And yeah, I don't know. I think when I stop to have my actual lunch, my sandwich, that'll be a good time to paint. is a little bit buried, isn't it? <laughs> wow, well, yeah, it's like full of sand. <laughs> going back, going up onto the dunes. So, ta-da, a beautiful trail. Look at the heathers blooming and the ocean is so blue. It's been like five point something miles and I'm just starving. So I'm going for it. We got a sandwich today. This is hummus, cheddar, and spinach, and seeded bread. Mm. <laughs> so far I haven't really been seeing a lot of sunshine and the breeze is quite humid and it just holds that coldness. I'm working up a sweat by hiking and then the cold air comes in and it's like, whoa. In Scotland, you have to layer. It's the only way. <laughs> seeing these pine trees just looks so pretty with the sand dunes and the heather oh wow 
And every time I see the color of this water, I'm just blown away. It's gorgeous. It's so turquoise. There's some big windmills there. Does anyone know what this is? Let me know. We made it. Wow. We did it. Eight miles. This was really fun, actually. I mean, I have a lot of aches and pains right now, but it was beautiful. Look at that. I like these little maps that you find at each town. We are here. So I'm gonna walk to this edge and then down into town. Such cute little beach huts. I just saw someone in their beach hut and it was all decorated inside, had a cute little bench and a little coffee station. It was so cute. How wonderful would that be? And you're just sitting out with this view, looking out at this. There we go. Anyone wanna buy a beach hut? Lots of colors to choose from. If you buy it, I'll come and maintain and clean your beach hut and keep an eye on it for you <laughs> in exchange for some art or something <laughs> let me know so this is the Fintorn Harbor over here on the other side of the dunes and there's a little restaurant I think it's open well I can smell food so yeah I'm gonna go check it out calmed right down. Now it's just beautiful. That was a really nice little place, but I ate too much. And now it's hard to walk. <laughs> so next time I'll start over there at the edge of that forest. On the other side of the water. If you follow my art channel, you may have already seen my sketch adventure, I don't know what I would call it, from this past summer when I came here for a plein air event and it was insane weather, but I did a lot of sketches, did a lot of painting around town, so that was nice. But I actually don't have long until my bus leaves. Um, so I'm gonna go find a coffee shop maybe find somewhere to sit near the bus station and just wait it out because if I miss it there's like at least an hour till the next one. <laughs> it's full of bees. I started feeling really nauseous. 
So I stopped. I just ate way too much. <laughs> I can't believe I only have one more leg of the journey and then I'll have walked the full length of Murray Coast. It's 50 miles of just gorgeous coastline. <laughs> so in order to do the next section, I have to actually be across this water um, and start in the forest. So the, there's no bus or anything that goes there. So I have to go park in the parking area of the forest, then hike up to the farthest edge closest to Findhorn and then walk to the other end. Um, but I don't think it's that many miles and it's forest, so that'll be interesting. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time for the end. <laughs>